Hello, my name is Dr. Fruitman. I'm a board certified psychiatrist and I'm a medical director of Trifecta Health. Uh, we are psychiatric office um, downtown New York City, near Financial District. Um, today I want to discuss um, a novel uh, treatment of depression called transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS. And I want to compare it to ECT, electroconvulsive shock therapy. ECT is a very old technique of treating depression. Um, I think it's been around uh, since 1930s, and certainly even before a medication for treatment of depression were created. Um, ECT is a way to treat depression that is severe and not responsive to medications. Um, it's a controversial technique because it involves um, giving a person who's suffering from depression, a shock, a strong enough shock to cause seizures that are then controlled by an anesthesiologist who's always present during the procedure. Uh, ECD has been frequently criticized for um, impairing patient's memory and ability to concentrate and think following the procedure. Another drawback uh, to ECT is that it's a um, technique that even though it results in treatment of depression, but um, has to be frequently repeated. So people who do respond to CT tend to have more than one course of procedures. Compared to ECT TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation, is a rather new procedure. It's been approved um, by the Food and Drug Administration uh, a little over three years ago. It's approved for treating depression that did not respond to medications. The difference is TMS does not cause seizures and um, does not use high uh, voltage electricity. It's a way to treat depression by waking up certain emotional centers in the brain by very gently shaking them awake uh, through magnetic stimulation. There's an MRI magnet that emits uh, a rather weak magnetic pulse and basically just enough energy to wake up those centers that are responsible for our mood. The major advantage to TMS over ECT is that TMS is really not a severe procedure. This is something that can be done in our office on your lunch break, you know, in the morning before work or in the evening after work. A person who gets a 40 minute session of TMS can immediately drive a car or get on a subway and go home. There are no um, known side effects of TMS and it's really not an invasive or non-systemic um, treatment. Um, as a result, TMS treats depression but also improves cognition, improves memory, improves attention and concentration. There's really no downside to trying TMS. Um, it is actually very, very likely to work for depression and treats depression without the side effects of uh, medications or ECT. Um, so come to see us at Trifecta. I'll be more than happy to discuss TMS as a treatment option for depression in my office.